Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, and reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth, and give them warning from me. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith, regardless of people here for a bear. It's another warning, man. Friday morning. About to head out and get this daily bread, Lord's willing. Abaratazah. Just giving Jake one, man. A whole lot of people are going to be deleted, man. All the sinners of my people shall die by way of the sword. And my phone chimed in, which represents this destruction this, this coming upon the face of the earth. The Lord is sending forth judgment. And we, we have been sent. But then, but then you got Israelite women telling us to stop, stop teaching this word. Stop you. So you really want us to stop warning you, right? Really? When, when the warning ends, nothing but judgment. And we got to keep um, reminding you of the days of Noah and the days of Lot when the warning stopped. Everybody didn't want to take heed. Stop it. Just stop it. We want to go. We want to continue to live our careless lives. We, we don't we don't need a warning. Let's, let's just do what we want to do. You see, th that day is coming. <laughs> the day of us not warning you. Because remember, the scriptures say that the um, tongue of the prophets is going to cleave to the roof of their mouth. Then what are you Israelites going to do? When that hell, when that judgment really start coming, land down on your ass like some, um, like some concrete, like like a road. Come on, man, what the hell are you gonna do? So look, look, seek the Lord and live. We're gonna bring out a couple of scriptures, then we're gonna wrap it up. E evil men, you know what I'm saying, don't understand judgment though. They they can't perceive the times that we living in. Hyperinflation kicking in. They're getting ready to make you put them damn masks back on. All of us, they're getting ready to lock down these cities. You have been warned. They're going to make it mandatory that you take an implantable device in order to buy and sell. But, but oh yeah, stop warning you, though, right? Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. The Lord told us to, to tell you, regardless if you're here for a bear, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. And, but when you get caught up in that jammy, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you, right? Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Are people before us a place? Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them one from me. So the hell what you ninjas talking about. You ninjas want us to start warning you. Hell, um, I know the power went out in um a city, you know what I'm saying, next to the one I'm in, in Durham. That power is still out. You see? And that's a 30 hours. Just imagine that it's cold as shit. It's like 20 degrees outside and your power stays off for 30 hours. These are the times that we're living in. But then soon come, the power going to go off and it ain't going to come back on. You see? It's not going to come back on, right? Once again, Ezekiel 3 and 17. And this, this was yesterday. People power stayed off for like 30 hours, man. All right? If you didn't have a backup generator, your ass damn near froze to deletion, right? Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them one for me. Everybody deleting everybody. You got all these people deleting each other. Let's get this though. Because I mentioned in Amos chapter 9. You should see how people are acting right about now. It's voting season. Our people are acting their ass. They, re they really think it's going to get better here. Amos chapter 9, verse 10, all the sinners, what is sin? Transgressing of the law, breaking the laws of the Bible, right? All the sinners of my people, then you know it's talking about the Israelites. We was the only ones giving the laws, that just commandments of the Bible, right? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which represents destruction, right? Which say the evil, meaning these bad times, shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's basically what our people are saying. We're telling them how bad it's going to shoot. You got inches of snow expected. You went to storm. Warnings everywhere. Uh, parts of Maryland, Virginia. This shit going to get real, man. All right? Shit, look at Boston. You know what I'm saying? Look out there in the Midwest. Shit, shit just covered in snow. People are barely able to make it to work. Shit, let the power go off and watch these, watch these rats. You know what I'm saying? Watch these um, roaches. You know what I'm saying? These copper tops, these zombies, watch them squirm, watch them, watch them beg, watch them pray for help. Then, then, then they want, see, that's the thing about it. As soon as a ninja get caught up in a jammy jam, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying, they're they crying to the Lord there. But as long as the power is on, as long as that grocery store open, you see, as long as they got that job, they ain't thinking about the Lord. 
But what did the Lord say again? Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners. You see, the Israelites that don't repent over here in Babylon, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And this is thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent it. And that's a proud ass statement right there. No matter how bad it's getting, people talking about something, yo, that, this is not going to affect me. I'm going to still smoke my weed. I'm going to still, no sense, worship my idols. I'm going to still celebrate the cousins of the heathens. I'm going to still be rebellious. Even though all hell really, all hell really breaking loose, man. The Lord said he's not going to heal this place. He's going to bring fire upon this place. As a matter of fact, let's just, let's just stay in Amos. Amos chapter 5. Let's just get this. Amos chapter 5. Verse 4, let's get this right quick. Amos chapter 5, just like I said before, just a quick warning. The Lord says it's going to be many and more. We, we, matter of fact, we're going to get there. Amos chapter 5, verse 4. For thus saith the Lord, it's always thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, right? And remember, the Lord speaks to his prophets. So anytime the Lord is just like any parent, they keep warning you and warning you and warning you. Anytime they ain't warning you no more, you already know something coming. Something heavy is coming, right? So, so once the Lord starts warning people, A.K.A. the Israelites You already know that hammer coming down, right? Amos chapter 5 verse 4 And it reads, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai Who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Unto the house of Israel A people before us a place Seek ye me and ye shall live The Israelites that ain't thinking about the Lord Look, look man, this scripture says you gotta seek the Lord to live you got to seek the Lord to live, Israel. The Israelites that don't seek the Lord, man, you, you're not going to live. He's going to punish you, man. That's why I say it's high time to wake out of sleep. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're seeing all the tall tale signs. I, I must be allowed to get this right quick. Just to tie it in. Say Matthew 24. Matter of fact, I'm going to get the one. Um, I'm going to get the one in Luke. St. Luke chapter 17. It's just like the days of Noah and the days of Lot all over again. Our people are doing the same thing. St. Luke chapter 17. What is it? 26. Yep. 26. Look, look. Red letter. Red letter. Who you eagerly call Jesus, right? Red letter, right? Yeah. How was shy? 26. St. Um, St. Luke 17, 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat. They did drink. They married wives. That's what, that's what our people was doing, right? But what was the prophets doing? The prophets was warning them. You see? The prophets was warning them. While they was eating, they won't think about nothing else, but just filling their belly. You know what I'm saying? Getting drunk and having fun. What's going on in 3024? You call it 2024. I call it 3024. What are our people doing? The same thing. They ain't thinking about nothing else but a good damn time. And eating, filling their belly, you know what I'm saying? And drinking their asses all right. And having sex, right? They married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. You know what I'm saying? What was going on at the same time? The warning. While everybody else was living a careless life, that warning was going forth. But everybody thought, oh, you, oh he, he bugged out. He's bugged out. The guy is warning us of what's going to happen before it even happened. The man is actually telling us to repent. The man is actually putting his life on the line to tell us to turn back. So, so our lives can be saved. Oh, he, he's bugged out, right? Same thing they're saying about us, right? Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came, because that's what Noah was warning our people about, all right? A flood, a great flood, right? They didn't listen. And destroyed them all. So the Israelites that didn't listen got destroyed. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Same scenario. Because why? It's the same people, man. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Same concept. So why? Because the same people. And we're one of our people. This time it's going to be fire. And it'll be a, a nuclear holocaust, but ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening. But we got to continue to warn them. I want to get this. Let's get um second Ezra's. Um, let's see. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter 9, 
verse, uh, let's see. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 9, and it reads, Then shall they, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans that didn't want to take heed to this word, right? Then shall they be a pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Remember, the Bible won't real. You ain't have to listen to the men out there on the highways and byways warning you. Are you not hearing what the scripture? This is going to be you. The Israelites that don't turn back, this is going to be a situation that's going to befall you. You're going to dwell in torments, man. You despise the words of the Lord, man, the comforter, right? For such as in their life have received benefits, bribes, bags, sold out, and have not known me. Look, look, and they that have loaded have hated my law while they yet had liberty. This was the grace period. This was the time to get our acts together. See, this was the time to clean your houses up, right? Get your houses in order, right? This was the time. But it's all scorn of it, right? Right? And when yet as place of repentance was open unto them, the doors of mercy were still open. They thought scorn of it, though, right? Understood not remember who was out there repent turn back remorseful turn back sorrowful regretful T to your howl through his only begotten son your howl shy right and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised they said nah I, I want to worship our line we're going to worship Buddha we're going to worship Sex Maria we're going to worship the Hindu god of Shiva you see we, we're going to worship um, the Kemet gods and all this other BS right we're going to worship the black woman, right? The God is right. The God is right. The same must know it out of death by pain, man, right? And therefore, be not curious how the ungodly shall perish and when, because they're going to perish. You can believe that. Going right back into what is it, Sirach? I think it's Sirach, the, um, the, sixth chapter, the 16th chapter. If there be one stiff neck among the people, it is a marvel if he or she escape unpunished. It's just crazy, man. Marvel at it if they escape unpunished, man. She, um, earthquakes everywhere, storms everywhere. Oh, look, look at the mechanic issue that knocked out heat to 80 apartments. I'm looking at the news now, man, in the news. 80 apartments, you know what I'm saying, ain't got no damn heat, man, all right? Full, 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 full of you Negroes, yo, full of you blacks, yo, I'm looking at the news now. They, they got to pack up suitcases, you know what I'm saying, and get out the building, you know what I'm saying, and try to go somewhere, you know what I'm saying, and, and get warm. That's judgment right there, man. Lord getting you out of your comfort zone. The Lord is taking everybody out of their comfort zones, all right? We're just saying, therefore, be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire, inquire how the righteous shall be saved, the elect of the nation of Israel. That's all we care about. That's all the Lord cares about. Whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which shall perish, meaning die, get deleted. Then of them which shall be safe, like as a wave is greater than a drop. But ain't nobody taking heed, though, right? The Lord said he's going to delete a whole lot of people, man. Just like a wave is greater than a drop, because there is a way that seemeth right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof leads to you being deleted. The, the warning has went out. The warning going to end or so come. The one is going to end. Perilous times, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. All, all these scriptures, each and every day, the, um, the Lord bringeth his judgment to light. He fell if not, but the unjust knoweth no shit. All them scriptures, it's over and over, every day, all them scriptures, man. News and prophecies, in the news, current events, all that going forth. Ain't nobody taking heed. But these videos that we do are only for the whole elect of the nation of Israel. Which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Everybody else can bite the damn dust, man. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3, and it reads, A prudent man, a wise man, for see the evil. You don't see how bad it's getting? A prudent man does. And hide of himself. Hide of himself where? In the comforter. In this word, right? But the simple pass on uh, and are uh, punished. The Lord can let this devil come in with great red. We were warning you, Israelites. I'm going to bring out one more scripture, then, then I'm going to wrap it up. 
one of you Israelites, a little of misery on top of misery on top of misery. That's what you're going to find yourself involved with. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12. Let's get that. Revelation chapter 12. Verse 12, and I'm, I'm about to wrap it up, head on out. Revelation, the warning has went forth again. Another day of warning you Israelites, man. Shit, Durham, no said they still out of power. We've been we, we going 30 hours without power. Just imagine that now. You you comfortable, no saying? Everything's going good. For 30 hours, you can't cook, no saying? Hey, your damn food and your damn refrigerator and going bad. All the above, man. You ain't got no backup generator. You ain't got shit, you know what I'm saying? Because you thought, you thought America, you know what I'm saying, was going to be your safe haven. You ain't got nothing to worry about. That's the mind state of our people. They bug the hell. They actually think they, they don't have nothing to worry about over here in the land of the U.S. of the A. Are you, are you serious? Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil sleaze the e. The deceiver, the slanderer, the so-called white man, starting off with their elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Eiffenheimers, the Chicken Groovers, all of them, the Bushes, the Clintons. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And the Lord going to let that sword get upon you, man. The Lord going to whoop you with that sword. He's known as the whipping stick of the Lord. He's known as the sword of the Lord. So for all you mockers and you scoffers and you non-believers, remember, the Lord said, all the sinners of my people shall die by way of the sword, right? And he said, all the unfaithful shall die because of their unfaithfulness, right? Matter of fact, let's just get this, I get this last one. I'm about to roll out anyway. Get this last one, Lord willing. Second Edges chapter 16. We'll just jump down right quick. Second Edward chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me, destruction. Woe is me, destruction. And this is a prophet of the Lord saying this. How much more a non-believer, man? How much more a non-believer? Who would deliver me in those days? How much more a scoffer? How much more a mocker? And everybody, the only thing people think about is this damn football game. You see? And then and American idols and basketball games and all this BS that they ain't got nothing to do with salvation. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. This is what you need to be worried about. Being protected from all this, right? The beginning of famine, a great famine is coming. And great death from one end of the earth to the other. Stinking bodies going to be everywhere, right? And it says they're going to stink, man. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. That purge is coming. That purge is coming, the beginning of evil, a whole lot of graping, you see, a whole lot of ravishing, the, the gurgle truth, you know what I'm saying, the average citizen is going to be getting graped out here, men and women, going to be getting graped like shit, man. Repent, Israel. What is it saying? The power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, meaning bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? What, what, what should you have been doing already before the evils came? Should have been seeking the Lord. I read Amos 5 and 4. Seek ye the Lord, and ye shall live, Israel. Evils and only evils. You have been warned. Shalom.